fans and Jagged family members, you're already here. Darn, I was hoping to be the first one to show you the doll, but you've already seen it. Oh well, let me tell you all about this doll if you don't know about her. Her name is Raya, and she is from the movie Raya and the Last Dragon. She's a new Disney character from a new Disney movie that is to be released on March 5th here in the United States. I don't know about other countries, sorry guys. But I'm so excited to show it to you, but I'm also going to tell you what we have planned for her. That's right, we're gonna change her. You can buy yours and keep it just like it is, whatever you wanna do, but I'm so excited to get this doll out. She has 11 points of articulation, which is really, really cool. And we got her at Walmart, and I think she was around $29.95, basically a $30 doll, which puts her up on a little bit higher scale price of a doll, but she's a lot bigger doll and she's just really cool and i'm so excited to get in here if i can get her open and show you guys this doll and get to see her too oh walmart no tape everybody's got to take these dolls up we can't get them out oh come on ha, -ha. no tape it's going to get the best of Belinda. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let's get in here. Let's get this baby out. Oh, man. She is so cute. She comes with a big hat. She has a, like a sidekick character that um, I think is like an armadillo. I really don't know yet, but it does say also look for ready to roll tuk tuk so i don't know if you guys can see him on there but that is tuk tuk and he is sold separately and i have no idea how much he is i didn't see him up there at walmart when i was there this girl's got a sword don't mess with her it's like a mess trying to get all this stuff off of her they put them through their head those little plastic tag things her hair is actually sewn in here into a piece of plastic you guys are all doll buyers, so you know what it's like to go through all this. Get these dolls out of these boxes. We got her halfway out! Yay! She is so close, and yet so far. I got hair in my mouth. Yeah, that's why this, the singing was so bad, because there was hair in my mouth. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be eligible for retirement by the time I get this done. <laughs> oh my gosh. Free at last! Hip hip hooray! Oh, whoa, her hair is so super cool, except for this part that's stitched in. This should just pull out, but you know what? It's not just pulling out. Whose smart idea was this, I asked? Poor girl. She's having a worse hair day than me. I can't get my hair out of my mouth. All this static in the ear from our heating systems, furnaces, all that. Okay, she has one ponytail here. She has like a braid, two little braids that are pulled together and made a ponytail. And then this part that they had stitched into the box basically is all loose. So I don't know if that's, I need to watch the video better to pay attention if that's really her hairstyle. But doesn't she have a really cute face? She is really, really cute. And look at the articulations in this doll. She has elbow articulation. She has hand articulation. I, for me, my favorite on the articulation is when the elbows allow the arms to fold like this. More realistic. It's rare. Um, you can get, the, get it in like, like the Made to Move Barbies and some of the BJD dolls. And of course the string dolls. Which again, I'm not a huge fan of string dolls. They're too hard to control. I don't like a doll that I try to sit it in a position and then it does bing and springs right back to where it was to start out with. I don't like that. And they're really hard to get them to sit down. She also has articulation in her knees. And let's see if she's got any in her ankles. If I can get her boots off. I don't think there, there's any little things that attach them. Okay, it's a little difficult. What age group is this? This is for, oh, right there it is. Not for children under three. So a three-year-old gonna get these boots off? Probably will be, they're probably stronger than me. 
since you know it took me so long to get this doll done I'm ready for retirement now okay she's got a cute little outfit on it's kind of a silky like fabric it's like a little jumper of course it's attached in the back with velcro and she has a little vest that is actually sewn into the little jumper and then she has a cape and the cape is also attached with velcro that's to give that effect when she's running around make her look like a superhero i guess i don't know anyway she's a really really cute doll i really like her but she does have oh well her ankles her legs turn at the knee too she has it's made to look like she has articulation in her leg her feet but I'm not seeing how this is articulating because there is no signs that you can move them remove them huh that's interesting her head let's see has no articulation except for turning this way no back and forward no side to side movement and I don't believe she has any waist either she has on painted underwear but she has no no waist turn that's kind of disappointing so what are the 11 the 11 different um, what do they call them they call them articulation they call well they do they call them points of articulation so she has one two three four five six I guess that's considered seven eight nine ten and eleven so the feet are just made to look like they're articulated, but they're actually not. So the articulation is knee, upper leg, hip area, elbow, wrist, and head turned back and forth. That's not great, but it's not real, real bad. And it's okay for what we want her for. And I'm going to put up a picture to show you the kind of doll that we want to turn her into. We made a doll, um, oh, I don't know, it's been probably a couple of years ago now. And we called her Karen and we want to make something similar to that and we were not able to find the doll that we originally used to make Karen because they don't make her anymore and she's really hard to find and if you do find her she's usually pretty expensive like on eBay or whatever and I really don't like buying dolls on eBay but anyway so this is what she looks like and then I'm going to show you a picture this is what it's not going to be exactly what we want her to her to be, but it's going to be very similar to what we want her to be. Down so you can see it. So anyway, this will be a doll that similar to what we want to turn her into. So we'll show you a video of that once it's done. So basically, that's all I wanted to show you guys in this video. Is this doll? She's really really cute. What do you think? I really love her hand and arm articulation. That articulation that's my favorite and remember her name is Raya the movie she's in is a Disney movie called Raya and the Last Dragon it is about well basically she she trains to be like a warrior she spent her whole life training as a warrior but something happens I don't know what it is it didn't I don't even know if it said in the trailer what it was but her people split and she has to find the last dragon I guess to get them back together so that is what she is on she's on this great adventure to find the last dragon and she is a female warrior which is really cool for today's girls so basically I think what the story is about is not that you know girls are gonna grow up to be a warrior or as a female you can do just about anything you set your mind to as long as you work really hard at it and you're very determined so remember that and I think that's what Raya stands for I recommend this doll for young girls and all ages of girls and doll collectors and everybody because she's just a really cool doll and because she does have it for her size doll she has great articulation in her her arms kind of unusual to find and really cool I don't know if she can hold her own sword haha -ha, she can look out hey that's cool those are really cool they got little turned up toes can you see that little heels that have a slit in the back supposed to make it easier to 
put them on. I know, I know, I know I hear it from you guys all the time that I'm rough with dolls, but hey, these dolls are gonna be roughed up a lot more by a three-year-old or a four-year-old than they are by me, I think, anyway. Hey guys, I wanted to show you her hat and see how it has a headband and it's articulated. It is so cool. Put it on her head and show you how you can tilt it. Isn't that adorable? I absolutely love that about the hat. Of course, she does still have her cape. Put her cape back on. She's a really cute doll. I seriously recommend this doll to any and everyone. She is super, super cute. She has some really cool articulated hands there. Put this sword back in her, her hand. Look! She's cute. Oops. She is a really, really cute doll. Her articulation and stuff is really, really cool. Turn her around so you can see the back of her. See her hair, her little braided ponytail there. Bring her in a little bit. A close up. There she is. She is so cute. I mean, I really, really love this doll. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think she's cool too? I think she's terribly, terribly cool. Let's sit her down and see how she sits. Not all dolls sit well. Hmm, that's not bad. That's pretty cool. She's, she can sit pretty good. You can't bring her knees up. You know, she'll fall over forward unless they're turned to the side. She's cool. But leave a comment and let me know what you think about her. So anyway guys, thanks for watching the video and tell me in the comments what you think about her. Subscribe to the channel, you never know what I'm going to be doing next. And ring the bell so you're notified about what I'm going to be doing next. And do a thumbs up, because come on, you had to like this doll. She is so cute and the movie is going to be so cool. You also want to ring the bell because you want to know what she looks like after we get done with her. I'll do a video for that, I promise. So until the next video, guys, thanks for watching and bye, doll fans and Jagged family members. See you next time.